the broadcast ministry of Christ Way Fellowship brings you victory for today. Exalting the Savior, evangelizing the seeker, and equipping the saint. Committed to the principle that you can have victory today and every day through Jesus Christ. Jesus said, I have come that you might have life and have it more abundantly. And now, here's your host, Pastor Wayne Duncan. Well, hello, friends, and welcome to Victory for today. Thank you for being a part of this little talk. And I'd like to uh, think with you about the subject of what to do when things look blue. <laughs> We've all been there, done that. Maybe you're there right now. You remember uh, Irma Bombeck used to uh, write some pretty clever and funny things. And, uh, and she uh, had a book, I think it was, entitled... Uh, uh, when life is just a bowl of cherries, why am I always in the pits? <laughs> Are you in the pits right now? Well, we all find ourselves there from time to time. Someone has said, when life hands you lemons, make lemonade. Oh, that's pretty clever, but it's easier said than done. Well, I know a place in the Word of God that we can go to today, and that's in the book of James chapter 1. If you have your copy of the Word nearby, you might want to join in as I read from James chapter 1. And here's what it says in verse 2 and following. My brethren, count it all joy, <laughs> count it all joy, when you fall into various trials, that's temptations, tests, knowing that the testing of your faith produces patience but let patience have its perfect work that you may be perfect and complete, lacking nothing. If any of you lacks wisdom, let him ask of God who gives to all liberally and without reproach, and it shall be given unto him. But let him ask in faith with no doubting, for he who doubts is like a wave of the sea driven and tossed by the wind. For let not that man suppose that he will receive anything from the Lord. He is a double-minded man, unstable in all his ways. All right, let's think about this for a little while now. Trials uh, are a part of life. Uh, it doesn't say here if you encounter. It says when you encounter encounter or fall into various trials. Now this word here that we spoke of a moment ago, and I, I gave you a couple of other alternatives to trials, trials, testings, temptations. You go through these difficult things. It says that this is a testing of your faith, a trying of your faith. And so when we go through these things, it's really just a part of life. There's three things that we can say about these trials, uh, uh, and that is, first of all, that uh, the, uh, the uh, trials that we go through are the common experience of all people. Everyone has trials and tests and temptations and so forth. It's something that we all go through, and we might as well benefit from them instead of just crying the blues like most of us like to do. It's a common experience of all people. Also, these trials that we go through are transitory. That is to say, they don't last forever. And if we can just keep our cool and let these trials produce in us what God wants them to, then, my dear friend, then we can see the product uh, that they produce in us. And we'll talk about that a little more in the next video. But today we're just sort of laying the groundwork for the, the uh, answers that we hope to give in the next video. But trials are something that are common to everyone. Uh, they're transitory. As a matter of fact, over in 1 Peter, he says that if you go through these trials for a little while, and then you go to the book of Revelation, and there where it speaks to the church at Smyrna, it talks about them going through great tribulation, but it's a limited time. So when we're going through these times of trial and testing, realize Everybody else is going through them, too. And they're only temporary. They're transitory. And then also, let's let these lessons teach us. 
we've got things to learn from these teachings. I saw something on Facebook the other day, and if I can figure out how to do it, I'll put it on this for you to see. There's a character that is on there quite often named Auntie Acid, and she says, my life feels like a test I didn't study for. <laughs> well, I think we can all say amen to that. <laughs> You know, Jesus never promised us an easy journey, just a safe landing. Listen to what he said. And this is from the New Living Translation. He said, here on earth, you will have many trials and sorrows. But take heart because I have overcome the world. What a wonderful statement that is from the Lord Jesus. You know, uh, these trials that we grow, go through are, are difficult. They're hard that we go through these things that, that seem to want to just tear us apart sometimes. But you know what? There's good reason why we're going through these trials and tribulations. This world that we live in now, you know, it's nothing like the world that is yet to come. Uh, but even in this world here, we can have confidence because just as Jesus said, he has already overcome the world. So we can endure what we need to go through here in this life. Lots of things that are troubling people today. Hey, let not your heart be troubled. Amen. Now, the scriptures that we look at here have to do with this matter of testing as it speaks about patience. Now, patience is a Greek word translated patience here, and it really means to bear up under, to bear up under. Hupomone is the Greek word, but it means to bear up under these trials and these difficult things. And he says that we're to, you know, practice that bearing up under, just bear with it as you're going through these difficult things. And he speaks here about counting it all joy. You know, happiness depends on circumstances. As a matter of fact, happening and happiness kind of go together, don't they? And so we can uh, look at this and say, well, this doesn't make me happy. Well, it's not to make you happy, but you can still have joy. Because you see, joy doesn't depend on circumstances. Joy depends on our relationship with the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Can you say amen to that? Well, look, I want to get back to this next week as we think about it. Matter of fact, let me just say one more thing. The joy of the Lord is our strength, too. But we'll get back to this with our next video. Now, if you need a Bible, you can just contact us on our website, victoryfortoday.com victoryfortoday.com and I will send you a Bible absolutely free. You can have the New King James Version or you can have the traditional King James or if you're more familiar with the Spanish language and you'd rather have a Spanish Bible, I can send that to you also. With that, you will get a little study guide entitled Beginning Steps a little DVD, a little mini DVD, 20-minute excerpts from the gospel film Matthew, one of my favorite gospel films, absolutely free. And also about uh, three or four little tracks that I'll drop in there, too, for you. One is uh, the Four Spiritual Laws booklet. Another is Have You Made the Wonderful Discovery of the Spirit-Filled Life? And then there's one just for children, so sort of a comic book style graphic arts they call it nowadays <laughs> but go to that website if you're watching us on youtube then please uh, subscribe and then you'll be informed when we put new product new uh, productions on uh, youtube but our website is victoryfortoday.com there's over when you go on the website, go to Archive, there's over 300 talks and sermons on there. Many of them have the uh, PowerPoints that go with this. Some are in audio, some video, and some are both. And uh, so go to that website to get that. But uh, if you'll subscribe here on, on uh, YouTube, uh, then you'll be informed when we have a new, a new product coming up, a new pro, uh, production coming online. Okay. <laughs> well, listen. Please watch now for part two of what to do when things look blue. God bless you. And the good Lord willing and the saints don't rise. We'll see you right here next time on Victory for Today.